The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Uh, welcome to the press, press concert FC, FC Basel with our head coach Rafael Vicky. Uh, questions please. <coughs> Rafael, congratulations uh, on this evening's game. Uh, is it meant to be the, the, the targets you set yourself, yourselves and it uh, ended up, uh, ended, went to uh, to plan, perfect plan. How do you see the game and um, the performance your team projects? Thank you for the congratulations. Of, of course, as I've said in the last few days, that to, it, for me is important that the team put on extra, give the team extra, put the pressure uh, and give them targets that were not too, too strenuous, um, send them onto the pitch. We, we want to perform in such a fashion and those are the t targets. The play against the game didn't start as we imagined. It was a difficult situation when we eight minutes, we went behind on it eight minutes. Then it, it, playing a team like that, then can, it can turn out really difficult. So I'm very proud of the team. Um, in general, not just tonight in the Champions League and uh, it was an easy situation and they produced a very good performance. I'm really happy and proud. What was the uh, concrete reaction to the goals and the way they... Uh, how, did the how do you think the team reacted to the 1-0? I, for experience, I did. I didn't have any direct influence on my team after I went behind. Of course, you try to sh shout out, but if it's 50,000, it's not so easy. I think the team had, had tried to play football and they did that, not just defend, but also to keep on trying to escape the pressure of the Man City and, and, and over the time, there, there was space uh, that they could find with two or three passes you could create space and then to keep the belief that uh, up to the last third and then one on one hand with very very good goal it was a very good move where we used the space and I think the team re realised after a time perhaps we can get something out of the game of course, you have to watch out again. You have to be on alert against this side. Manchester City uh, lost first time home this season. What does that mean to you? That doesn't mean so much to me. For me and for FC Bar and the team FC Barcelona. It's special for us that we're able to beat this team and that we're in the Champions League. Uh, we go out to the Champions League with a decent performance in, in a very difficult task. And I think that's the special thing about this. We have a certain pride. Everybody has that. And the team against the team that is, is, is playing every, every three days is beating one team after and the fact we could win here is very special that's the first time I didn't know it was the first time I don't think that's particularly significant but I think we can be proud out of, of proud of our game any more questions um. 
uh, to the question, uh, how do things, what, what does this mean for the team? Uh, we've had a number of difficult weeks. How can you transform, use this game to transform things? I, of course, I hope that a win and such a performance that was really good in every aspect it gives every player confidence and um, we won't approach the next game any differently. Next games, next Sunday is the most important one. We, we want to get three points in Lucerne and then take it game by game and get back in our rhythm and game by game in, in build on our performances. I think today a lot of players played well today and I hope it gives them confidence for the coming weeks. But I think on the other hand, we shouldn't look too far into the future. First thing is game on Sunday, get three points and then take it game by then. Hopefully we'll move on. You could say uh, you just missed out on the quarterfinals. Have you played the new Champions League winners? Have you lost to them? Have you gone out to possible winners? That's really difficult to say. For me, Manchester City are one of the top, one of the top two, three, two teams in the world at the moment. They've shown that for months in all competitions every three days. Uh, they are one of the top favourites for the Champions League. But we all know the Champions League is a competition where, where a competition where it depends on the form on the day. The draw has to go right. Uh, and you know what's in four and six weeks so it's difficult to say how, how it will go but in terms of quality momentum then this team is clearly f for me one of the top th two three teams uh, last question anybody thank you very much and have a good evening